Street Heroes, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full-on makeup tutorial and my hair as well, which I'm so excited about. I just want to say I don't have a crazy makeup routine, so don't have high expectations of me. Before I get started though, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click that bell button so you're notified whenever I post on here. Let's get started. My mom literally interrupted me, so put on this moisturizer on top of it. Like I said, it's like dry kind of dries out my skin i don't know i feel like i'm the problem for some reason not the brand when it's not fully blended in like you guys can obviously see it on my face i like to go in with my vitamin c serum just because it's so easy to like blend in with Now that's all done, we can finally start with our face! I'm gonna start with this one. It's from It. It's kind of like full coverage cream, but in my opinion, like, this is not full coverage. I feel like there's way better brands, but I kind of like to go in with my fingers like this. Okay. I'm gonna put this, I just put dots all over my face. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but that's what I like to do. I want to put out that um, I'm not really the best with makeup, so I don't even remember the last time I've... Honestly, I feel like this shit's expired. I really do. Okay. While that's going on, I... Fuck me, bro. I forgot to put my cover FX. Izzy talks so highly of this one, so I decided to try it. I'm just going to put on... Ooh, I don't know if I was supposed to put it in with the foundation. I have a feeling I was, and I hope this is not too much. Anyways, as I'm doing this makeup video, I might as well tell you guys a little story time of me actually getting like violated by a Karen at Valley Village. Um, I'm gonna spray my beauty blender with All Nighter Extra Glow by Urban Decay, I believe so. Yeah. Olay. Okay. So I'm at Valley Village and I saw this like couch it wasn't a couch it was just one seater couch is that called a love couch no love seat love seat would be two people okay well it's just a singular person couch i don't know the name of it but you guys know what i mean anyways i bought it and my friend didn't have enough room and, and like my friend's car didn't have enough room so i was like hey can i please put this on hold and pick it up tomorrow with my car and they're like, yeah, okay, but do that. So I give them my number just in case if I forgot, they can give me a call. So I didn't forget because that was like a steal. It was $12.50. I'm going to insert a picture here so you guys can see. Because I know for a fact that would have been like $200 at Ikea. I just know that. That was such a steal. Anyways, I'm... Uh, like the couch is pretty big. I'm a small girl. I can't lift that. I refuse to. And if there's... I cannot lift that. That's just out of my capability. Capability. That's the word I'm looking for. So I was like, oh, can you please get like an employee so I can just, so they can like lift it up for me? Like, I can't lift this myself. And she's like, yeah, no problem. The employee comes and he tells me to park this one parking spot at the front. The only reason why I parked there is because the employee told me, and you're not supposed to park there. I think that's just for like drop-offs or maybe. I don't even fucking know, bro. Like, I really don't know. But like I said, I was told by the employee. And I parked there and I swear to God, never in my life have I witnessed a Karen moment. Karen person until that day. This girl comes to my window. Knock, knock, knock telling me I can't park there. She doesn't have her employee clothes on. She clearly doesn't work there. She is just bored with her life. So I'm just like, oh, like I can though. And she's like, no, you can't park there. And I was like, well, the associate literally told me I can park here. And she's like, well, you're not supposed to park here. Like, <sighs> I swear to God, people just be so bored with their life. Pick on me, what do I do to you? Like, I just genuinely hate people like that not minding their business. And it doesn't end there. The Karen story is over and done with, but my day continues. So this guy puts it in my car and he just like looks like a dad. Like literally just seems like a nice guy, whatever. And honestly, he did all that and I was going to go to Tim. So I was like, oh, what's your coffee order? I'm going to go get you a coffee. And he tells me, so I go bring it over to him. And anyways, I'm going to insert the video. This is nice paper. 
I am Keith. I can't even rip it. What the fuck? What kind of favor did this guy give me? In conclusion, you cannot be nice to men. I am half your age. Maybe, no, maybe even more than that. I don't even know. Like, and you're asking to, for my number and you're telling me you expect a call from me? Keith, be fucking for real. BFFR, you're literally my dad's age, bro. Like, please, I'm a 21 year old. Let me be, let me be. Anyways, we are done with this. And I actually have another Karen story. This is just gonna be filled with Karen stories at this point. This whole makeup tutorial. Cause I can say a lot. I'm gonna add this chapstick on right now. I forgot to do it at the beginning. Oh, this foundation application looks, it looks so good. Oh my God, I'm really loving this. Literally, I haven't applied foundation in so long and I kind of want to start again because I'm, yeah, I'm obsessed. Okay, now we can go in with the eyeshadow. I got my foam tape. I find it more gentle on your skin than like regular tape, so <sighs> I'm out of breath. I like ran up and down the stairs. I completely forgot to bring this. Okay. Please. Operate with me, man. There we go. The hardest thing about this part is probably putting it on the right, like making it even. So that's gonna take me a while, so I'm definitely gonna skip this part. I got it on. This looks pretty even to me. I hope it is even. Looking at the mirror, I'm gonna zoom it in. That actually looks pretty even. Okay. First things first, I like to start off with my natural lust eyeshadow by Too Faced and honestly all my eyeshadows are usually from Too Faced I haven't found any other brand that I'm like wow this is the one I haven't other than Too Faced I'm gonna go in with this fluff brush I'm pretty sure I bought this a very very long ago there's like no brand on it I'm gonna go in for like more like burgundy brown look which I really admire that look I think it looks so cute on anybody First things first, I'm gonna go with Call Me Back. It's just the base color that I'm trying to do first. And I don't put like eye primer, I think that's what it's called. I don't have it. So yeah, if you have it, apply it. If you don't, then don't. Okay, let's put this on. Okay, as I was saying, I'm gonna show you guys another Karen story. Okay, honestly, this might, I might be the problem here. I think I am the problem here, but I'm gonna let you guys decide down in the comments. I'm working at work, I work at the shoe store, and I remember there's this customer that literally would come in almost every single day since he ordered his package to pick it up from the store. Keep in mind, we do email you when it's ready to pick up. I don't know, he just thought that we wouldn't email, we forget when it's automated and that's not our job to do, whatever. Now I'm gonna go in with set in stone and mix it with hot to trout those two colors i'm gonna mix them in together uh, so i i remember three shifts in a row bro i'd see this guy asking for shoes at this point i memorize his name i even know what shoes he's getting that's how much he's been coming in and we kept on telling him it's not gonna arrive and then i didn't like i didn't know the full details of his order like when it's supposed to come in and stuff like that and the last day he came in he's telling me it's gonna come on the 10th and i'm like wait that's thanksgiving i don't even think the UPS people even work on that day so I told them that I was like I don't think it's gonna come in on that day because that's like Thanksgiving and that's when everything goes downhill a fucking shit show I mean oh my god bro he gets so mad he's like you guys told me this and this and I'm like I didn't even take his order so it's like bro I didn't tell you shit and he's like you told me that you can give me a refund and I was like I told I did tell him that but if the shoe gets in here like if your shoe comes late before like your vacation and stuff you can definitely bring it in we just have to scan the box and i literally told him that and he's like demanding a refund and i'm like i cannot physically give you a refund because it's not here like i'm sorry like, I, I was really nice though i was really nice um because he was like this older guy you know like just like dad basically like so i was like obviously i'm gonna be nice to my elders i'm not gonna be a bitch about it so i kept on telling him that and he's just like was just not comprehending but i just like 
honestly didn't really mind because i understand like you're going on a vacation you obviously want those in on time and they're not going to come in time and i felt bad so he went to the sales section to buy something else and this is where kind of my problem because i didn't know this he picked out these like loafers and they were 1998 which i was really confused about because those are not 1998 they're supposed to be like 48 or 49.98 I scanned the shoes and I'm like, oh, by the way, these are this price. And he like starts freaking out on me after that. Sorry, guys. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go on with Oopsie Daisy. That's like a gold shimmer color. And I'm just like, oh, like it's that price. And that's when he starts losing it. He's like, the price says on that. And I was like, I honestly wasn't trying to get in trouble. That's the only reason why I said I can't do that price. It was just like a wrong price and I don't know who the hell did that because I remember putting those shoes on sale and I remember that's why I was like kind of suspicious about the price and he just gets all mad and stuff like that comes to my table like the register and he's like I'm not leaving until I either get a refund or get those shoes for that price and I was and my manager wasn't working so I was like well I can't give it to you for that price because it's actually $49.98 and he's just like well I'm not leaving I'll wait and I'm like I'll wait with you um he was not leaving that guy was mad serious and I knew he was serious but I'm serious too and it just got to a point where he was just like verbally violent and me I'm not gonna deal with that I'm getting scared right now I'm really getting scared like why is a guy that's like triple my age at this point yelling at me I'm getting violated so I'm like I'm gonna have to like call security like you're kind of scaring me He's like, okay, call security. You don't have to tell me that twice because I will call security. I call security. The security comes in and I tell them whatever, this and that. And then like, he's just like trying to make me look like the bad person saying I'm rude. I was not rude. That's the one thing that I'm not going to agree with. I was not rude. Even when he was literally yelling at me, I was not rude. I'm going to finish off the other eye. I'll be right back other eye just i'm just gonna spray this with setting spray Hello. i'm gonna spray this with setting spray and i'm just gonna grab this other eyeshadow from Too faced this is a natural look and i'm only going in with this one color which is called shimmering pearl with the shimmer i guess i'm just gonna put that in my inner corner right here And then with my pinky, I'm going to grab the white one, Glistening Snow, and just put a very small dot right in the inner corner. Very small. Just blend that in with my pinky. Okay. We are done with the eyelid. I'm obviously going to go in. Why is this not closing? I'm going to go in with my bottom lash line. Okay, yeah. So the security comes in. I tell security everything, this and that. You have to uh, like take him out of the store because he's obviously like really mad. I don't know why you're mad. Like I get it. I apologize to him multiple times. Like it's just like it's really out of my abilities to really do anything because it don't matter if you have the receipt. You really don't. You need the actual shoe. And it's just like, what if I gave you the refund and you came back and picked those shoes up? It's just like you know. You guys get me? I hope so. But. I'm gonna go in with hot to trout again just for my bottom line lash line yeah so that's what happened and i have been so scared ever since actually i'm just gonna grab a little bit of foundation because i can see the lines of the tape and i want to sharpen the edges as well so this would just be a perfect time to do that grab it like this look you guys see the tape mark i don't know if you guys can see that but i can definitely see it There we go. He also, the security had to take him out and he wasn't allowed to come back to the mall for 24 hours. And the funny thing is, he also with the security, right? Like, there were, like the security's in front of the store facing him. So the way I am, he's in front of me. And he's just like literally trying to come in, get inside the store when they literally told him, you're kicked out. We're like, you need to fucking leave. And yeah, the security leader stood in front of him and be like, what are you doing? You're literally like, you're banned for 24 hours. So he couldn't come back for 24 hours. Ever since then, I haven't seen him. And he said he wants to talk to my manager of how rude I was. And 
By him saying rude, it's because he didn't get what he wanted. Like just things didn't go his way. Like I wasn't being rude. And I just know that for a fact that I wasn't because I don't know, like there's just no point in me being rude to a customer. Why would I just ruin your day like that? Okay, yeah, I did technically ruin his day, but I wouldn't purposefully want to like ruin it. If it's like out of my abilities, then yeah, your day is getting ruined, buddy. And cry me a fucking river. I don't get paid enough to deal with your shit anyways. Anyways, yeah, so this is just, that's literally my story. I guess like, honestly, partially it's my fault because yeah, the price said different. I should have just gave him that price, but I didn't think I was able to do that until later on my manager said I'm allowed to do that. And plus, like the man the customer was so aggressive at that point, I should just said fuck it and do it. But I honestly, like I said, I didn't want to get in trouble or anything because the price was a dramatic change. So that's why. Now I'm gonna go with my bottom lash line. I'm gonna do hot to trout. I love adding stuff to like my bottom lash line, just eyeshadow. It really does add a nice touch to it. Add a little bit more and I should be doing that. Okay. We're done, we're done. I'm pretty sure we're done. I don't know. I hope I don't like be like, oh shit, I forgot this. Because I do that a lot. Okay. Now we're going to go in with the like actual like blush and highlight right now this blush i speak so highly of this cream blush like i'm like do you see that i've never went through a blush like that ever in my life it's just such a it's like a perfect tone for my skin and it just looks so nice once you blend it out like look at this like i'm gonna secure it in with a powder one as well from wet and wild these are like ultimate duo like the best duo you can ever get from drugstore because I don't like to spend like money at Sephora for unnecessary stuff like blush and highlight genuinely like I feel like I can find amazing products there but when it comes to foundation and like eyeshadow I just feel like I have to buy from there just because of the quality is so good it may be like five times the price and stuff like that I don't even remember I don't know how much drugstore eyeshadows are these days the way economy going it might be the same price as Sephora I don't know as I was saying, like with blush and highlighter, I don't know. I don't find it necessary to buy it yeah, unless I don't know. I don't know. Actually, no. Maybe I just don't know enough about makeup to be like, oh, like it's not worth it. So personal opinion, I just feel like it's way better to get blush and highlighter from the drugstore, and the rest is good at Sephora. Just cause like these actually last me so long. Like my blush stays on all day. I'm not gonna lie. I got drunk one night. Of course, and I felt I always fall asleep in my makeup and I would like oh I'm going in with the cream I mean the blush I'm going in with the powder blush now. This is from Wet n Wild pinch me pink and I, f I always fall asleep with my makeup on when I'm drunk like there's just no energy in me to be taking off my makeup and That's even with face like I don't wear foundation to the clubs and stuff anymore like I used to but even when I did wear foundation and everything I'm sorry, I'm going to sleep. Like, I, I'm gonna thank my parents' genetics for that because they've had clear skin their whole entire life. And even when I sleep with makeup on, I'm completely fine. So I'm thankful for that because even if I would break out, I know my lazy ass would not get out of bed to freaking take off my makeup when I'm literally drunk. Definitely not. Okay, the whole point of this was when I got drunk, I fell asleep with my blush on. Please tell me why I still have blush on my face the next morning. And these are, oh my god, why is it not closing? These are from the drugstore, like they're such good quality. As I'm saying that and they're like literally <laughs> broken. <laughs> Whoa, well. Okay, this one is broken because Fati tried to open it with his mouth. Like what is wrong with this kid? He's something else and I'm going with the Milani highlighter and this is like shattered into pieces. Hold on. Okay. Like as you guys, I don't even wanna yeah. It's really shattered into pieces. This is a duo of the cream one and the this is a duo of the cream one and the powder one. But I like the powder one more and plus it's all over the fucking place. 
I apply that. I just want to do it lightly first, just because there's so many on, so much on there. There. And I'm just gonna grab my fingers and just put some on my brow bone. And now time for lips. I'm like, wait, is that all? I was missing lips. I didn't even take one sip of my coffee. It's just gonna taste like water now. Oh, that feels so good. I don't know which one I wanna use. This is a dupe for the Rihanna Fenty lip gloss. This is from Maybelline. Maybe I'll put this one on. Let's put it on. Okay, I'm gonna have both of them on just because like this is really nice shimmer and this leaves a nice like glow to it Not a glow gloss, you know, it's called lip gloss for a reason. What is wrong with me? Okay, and I'm um, since I'm doing a full get ready with me. I'm gonna do my hair as well right now I'm gonna get my strainer to be warmed up. I completely forgot to start my strainer Okay, I'm just gonna put on my setting spray While my strainer is getting all warmed up, I'm gonna brush my hair and I'm gonna use my hair heat, heat protectant. So. Okay, now I'm gonna start with doing my hair. Okay, let me just part this up. Whatever. So I'm gonna grab a piece right here and I'm gonna like flick it at the end. You guys will see what I mean by that. I already put my heat protectant on earlier because my hair is so damaged and I would never use heat protectant. So I just started recently. Okay, just because I'm putting heat protectant on, that does not mean my heat damage is done and over with. I definitely need to get a haircut. I'm thinking about getting my hair shorter. Izzy does not approve of that, but I'm trying to get back on my healthy hair grind. Right, Izzy? That's how you know I'm a true friend. <laughs> I know, she doesn't like it, but like, I honestly don't really have a choice, guys, because back in like 2019, my dumbass decided to go blonde, and my hair was up to my ass, bro, like literally. And I got one blonde. Hair. What was that? Most beautiful hair. Okay, we get it. Anyways, um, so I decided to go blonde for what? I don't really know. I guess I needed a change and I've never dyed my hair. I had a virgin hair. Like, that's like crazy. So I dyed it. It was all good though the first time I did it. It was nothing serious, but it's the fact that I kept on repeating it and then I go red and then I go blonde and then I go red again. My hair had enough and I had to keep on cutting my hair because it was just so damaging. Now like it's gonna be not crazy short, but I guess it'll match my Halloween costume. I cannot wait for me to do that video, oh, that makeup tutorial, but we'll see how that goes. I'm really excited for my Halloween costume. I'm gonna keep it a secret obviously until it's Halloween time. Oh my god. Anyways, I'm just gonna keep on doing this guys. Once I'm done, I'll be back with you guys and show you the final result. Okay, my hair is all done. Oh my god, this has to be my favorite hairstyle. Like, just these little curls at the end look so cute. I am gonna go on with this product. This is Miracle Curls Freeze Taming Cream. And I'm just gonna apply them just right here. Just because I do notice a lot of frizzies. Is that what it's called? I don't know, but it just looks frizzy. So I'm just gonna bring them down. And I honestly don't really like to use like gel to do that or even hairspray. I only like to hairspray like my curls, but just not up here. Cause it just looks so like, I don't know. I don't know, it just does not look pleasing. It just looks, what's the word? You know what word I'm thinking about, Izzy? Like when you hairspray and your hair is all stuck together, there's like a word for that. Crunchy? Yeah, okay. Yeah, my hair just looks so crunchy when I put apply it at the top. You couldn't think of the word crunchy? That's like a description of how something feels. Not a hair state. Oh my god. 
Okay, as I was saying, um, I just got violated through FaceTime right now. You guys get it though, right? Like, if I didn't say the word, you'd know what I meant. No, no, no one would know what you mean. Okay, as I was saying, I just hear somebody annoying voice here. I'm gonna put a little bit of Moroccan oil in my hair if it decides to come out. This shit is so bipolar, just like Izzy. I'm gonna put a. I'm just gonna put some on. I don't even think. Okay, there you go. It just makes my hair smell so nice and Moroccan oil is apparently good for your hair so I don't know, I haven't done enough research to be even saying those things and like I said, I'm only gonna hairspray just the tips of my hair just so my curls stay all day long I'm using my Tresemme Superior Hold with Touchable Feel Okay Oh not get over myself i really cannot and i'm gonna put these earrings that i got from color spring a while ago i want bigger hoops today okay this is the full look oh my god i'm so obsessed okay street heroes this is all this is my full face makeup and i guess a little hair tutorial as well hope you guys enjoyed this full glam and hopefully i'll do more once i get more makeup products where i know how to contour and use concealer and all those other things. Once I achieve that 100%, I'll even have a better full face makeup tutorial for you guys. All right, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click that little bell button so you're notified whenever I post on here. See you next week. Bye.